the Zeus Fair mannequins included with ZBrush 4 not only help you to come up with ideas for poses for characters and the basic shape of the character, but they can also be used as a mesh creation tool. I'll demonstrate this by starting with the dog mannequin scene and I'm going to turn it into some kind of creature. And uh, to do this, I'll just start by manipulating the mannequin itself. So I'm scaling parts of the model, moving other parts of the model around, uh, maybe I'll extend the neck. I'll switch to draw mode and click on the neck to add a couple more z-spheres so that maybe I can add a slight bend in the neck and then just continue to shape my model. Now once I'm happy with the shape of my model I can convert it into a sculptable mesh using a combination of remeshing and projection. And the mannequin is made up of z-spheres so if I switch to a preview mode and turn on the polyframe button you can see that the adaptive skin is actually made up of different parts. I can control shift click on each part to hide the rest of the model. But what I'd like to have is one single skin that I can that I can model with the sculpting tools. So what I'll do is I'll go into the subtool palette down to the remesh all button. I'm going to click on the remesh all button and this is going to create a skin and append that skin as a subtool. So now you can see in the subtool palette I have a new object which is this skin. It kind of resembles my Z-Sphere mannequin but it's a little bit loose. But if I turn on transparency you can see the original mannequin uh, inside of the skin. So what I'd like to do is transfer some of that detail from the mannequin to the skin and to do this I'll use projection. Now there's a new slider that's been added in ZBrush 4 and this is the projection shell slider. And this slider is a way to get a visual representation of the distance that ZBrush is going to use in order to calculate the projection. So as I move the slider over to the right, that's in the positive direction, you can see that the shell goes outward. If I move the slider to the left, it goes in the negative direction and you can see that the preview is going inside uh, the mannequin. Once I let go of the slider, it's going to snap back to its original size, but you can see now that it's actually chosen a value for the projection distance based on that little preview that I got. Once I'm happy with that, I'll just press project all and you'll see that the skin is now shrink wrapped to my original Z-Sphere armature. So now I have a skin that closely resembles my Z-Sphere armature and I can start switching to my sculpting brushes, maybe smooth out parts of the model and then start sculpting it into uh, whatever creature I want. So I'm going to add a few divisions and uh, maybe use the relax deformer to relax it a little bit, add a little bit of polish, switch to one of the move tools and start shaping my model. So this is a way that the mannequins can be used as a concept design tool. Starting with one of the mannequins, creating some kind of shape out of it, and then converting that into a mesh, using projection to shrink wrap the mesh to the original mannequin, and then from there, I'm ready to sculpt. So within a few minutes, I have a unique mesh that I can sculpt into whatever I'd like.